Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84 and I'm featuring a guava in this video today. This is actually a pink fleshed guava, or theoretically a pink fleshed guava that I originally grew from seed. I suspect it is from a pink guava I got from my exotic fruits. I'm thinking probably it's about four years old. Um, maybe four or five years old. I'm not sure if I could look back through the videos if I'd be able to find out. It's not a bad size now. It's um, probably about a metre, about a metre tall. So uh, just over three feet tall. Um, probably almost the same width, to be honest. It's sort of grown in a bit of a bushy shape. Um, it has died back heavily previously over most winters but tends to rejuvenate in the uh, spring or at least over the summer it's got a few scale on it but at the moment they're manageable by just removing my finger but the reason I thought I'd feature this one is interestingly this is the one that I showed recently from a distance that had a few flowers on it and surprisingly because it's a seed growing guava it's actually set a couple of embryo fruits these two have definitely set these two may have set and there's one down here that appears to have set as well now of course a prompt i have had guavas tropical guavas set fruit before but they never amounted to anything because they get to about an inch and then it we head into november and of course uh, the fruits then get dropped because we've headed into our winter and it is a bit of a problem for me in my growing conditions obviously if i had a heated conservatory or greenhouse then the fruits would stay on i'd probably end up with harvesting tropical guavas but they really do or would benefit from a greenhouse because of the extra humidity um, and light the problem in my kitchen which is where i overwinter these is obviously Wow, that wind's really blowing the uh, wind chimes today. Yeah, the problem with the, these is I have to pack them into my kitchen, which means they get almost no light because they're squeezed so close together, unfortunately. And uh, it also means that they're an absolute magnet for uh, every bug under the sun, mealy bugs, scale insect, which overwhelm them. Uh, and of course, the dry atmosphere. And then unfortunately, it means that my plants aren't holding the fruits but it's still exciting to know that you can get flowers of tropical guavas here and that they will in the right conditions set fruit they seem to be self fertile because obviously i haven't got any other guavas that are flowered at the same time so it is nice to see embryo fruits on it even if they're not going to amount to anything but what i've got to do is find a way to overwinter them so that they uh, do hold on to the fruits now i have tried polythene bags over them to make a mini greenhouse that made no difference the fruit still dropped and it increased the pests and diseases on them and also they suffered from mildew so um, the polythene bag tent isn't the answer for me at the moment um the only answer is probably to win the lottery and buy a big house with a huge greenhouse. So, uh, but in the absence of that happening, I'm doing the best I can. But still exciting to see a tropical guava that I've grown from seed that has flowered this year and uh, attempted to set some fruit. So thanks for watching the video. I thought that would interest some people. Please give me a thumbs up. Obviously, uh, share the video if you think someone would like to have a look. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and I will, if I can get these fruits to hold a bit longer, feature them in a future video. So remember, you've got to click on the bell if you want to know when videos come out. See you all soon. Brett out for now.